Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when the game is not loading on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once and after the system restart, launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to run the run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. Now for this, you can go to Epic Games Launcher and then you can click on this three dots over here and then go to manage and over here you will see in front of installation you will see the game folder just click on this folder icon over here you can see this exe file make a double click launch the game from here and then check if that does not work make a right click on the game exe file select properties go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working then go to properties once again and this time put a check over here select windows a hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working again go to properties this time you can try windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working put a check on disable full screen optimizations hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check so when you put a check on all these boxes still not working in that case you can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply click on ok and then follow the next step now the next step is to verify the game files now to verify the game files you can go to epic games launcher click on the three dots on the game icon and then click on manage and then over here you will see verify option so click on verify once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in the launch option now for this you can go click on these three dots i'm sorry at the top right here you can see a profile i can click on it and then go to settings over here settings and then over here if you see restart and update option click on restart and update and after the re after the update is complete then you can launch the game and then check now it's still not working go to settings once again over here you will see 33 immortals click on it and put a check on additional command line arguments over here type in dash dx11 and then you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even try dash dx12 launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this uncheck this box and then follow the next step now the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like a vast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to antivirus program if you're using windows security then open windows settings go to privacy and security if you have windows 11 if you have windows 10 click on update and security now click on windows security then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow click on add an allowed app click on browse all apps and then go to the game installation folder so if the game is installed in c drive open c drive and check where is the game so maybe epic games here you can see epic games open this folder and over here you will see this game folder open this folder select the exe file click on open and once the game is added now type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel click on system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings at the top click on allow another app and then click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder so again go to the c drive and then open program files epic games open this folder select this exe file click on open and then click on add in my case the game is already added so once the game is added over here now you can launch the game and then check now still not working the next step is to rename or delete the save game files when you do so you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from scratch so only if you agree you can rename or delete the save game files now for this uh, you can go to this pc and then open the c drive open users folder now open your username folder now open app data folder if you don't see app data at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder open the I think local low folder and scroll down and over here you can see uh, thunder lotus folder make a right click copy this first of all create a backup so once you have a backup now you can uh, rename or you can delete this folder here you can see 33 immortals 
you can make a right click or you can just rename it or you can delete this folder just rename it or delete it and then launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so to perform a clean installation go to nvidia website and then select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then click on find and once you click on find you will see this page now here you will find the latest geforce game ready driver now click on view and then once you click on view you will see the download option click on download and let the download complete now once the download is complete run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings and then click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder select the exe file click on add once the game is added, click on the game and over here you can see GPU performance, set it to high performance and you will see your graphic card. Select high performance over here. Now you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to update Windows to the latest version. This is important. So open Windows settings, go to Windows update or update and security and then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed, then restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game and then check. Next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in the browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website you will see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 download this x86 and x64 file so click on it and if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install so download both x86 and x64 and once the download is complete you can run this exe file again Click on repair. If you see repair, if you see install button, hit install and let the installation complete. Run the second file as well. Again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see install button, hit install and let the installation complete. Make sure both are installed. Once installed, restart your computer. Restart is a must after this. Once this is done, restart your computer. And after the system restart, launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to unplug all the external devices which are not using so if you have hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected disconnect it and then launch the game if you have any extra controller connected sometimes we have extra usb dongle uh, connected disconnect it disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor turn off if you have any third party services or application running close it disable uh, overlay uh, like if you have any other over if you have any overlay application like discord you can go to discord settings and turn off overlay if you have nvidia app uh, like nvidia if you're using nvidia app you can open nvidia app and then you can go to settings and then you will see nvidia overlay you can disable it or you can simply close all the overlay application and then launch them also close all the overclocking application like if you have msi afterburner reward tuner or any kind of uh, overclocking application running you can close it. Also, if you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Now, the next step is to increase the virtual memory. So, to increase the virtual memory, type in View Advanced System Settings in Windows Search box and then click on View Advanced System Settings and then click on the first settings and then go to Advanced tab and then click on Change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive 
now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1 1.5 1 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM so 16 into 1024 I have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM so total RAM is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 49152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to update the BIOS so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number update the BIOS in case of laptop make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer and then update the system BIOS after the BIOS update log into the computer and then launch the game you can skip this step if you're not able to launch the game but if you are able to launch the game you can switch to window mode go to videos go to options and then go to video and then set it to window mode and lower down resolution so if the resolution is set to like 4k you can try 1920 into 1080p you can even lower down more and then you can check the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive so if nothing is working you can simply uninstall the game after you uninstall go to the game installation folder delete the game folder and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to some different drive like e drive f drive or any external drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive then try to install the game to another ssd and then check it so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run the game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel